we belong to the living world. What is this living world made of? Plants, animals and microbes. Now who are we? We are one of the examples of animals. That is man. Precisely human being. We are just taking one example. Now what is any animal? So we are taking man. What is it made of? We know, we have learnt in the lower classes that any animal is made of man. I am talking of the higher animals. They are made of organ systems. Organ systems. We can even call them systems. These in turn are made of various organs. What are these organs made of? In turn, these are made of various kinds of tissues. And what are these tissues made of? These tissues are made of various kinds of cells. Actually, one tissue is made of similar kind of cells. Then various tissues go together to make the organ. The organ, all various different uh, organs which do the similar, similar function belong to one system. Now let's take one example of this. Okay, The example I wish to take of, the example of organ is skin. Okay. That is the skin. Now which organ system does this belong to? This belongs to the organ system called nervous system. Now which are the different parts of the nervous system? The different organs belong to the nervous system. Let's take the central nervous system. The sense organs. And connecting these are the nerves. Okay. Now skin is an example of the sense organ. Which are the other sense organs? Eye, ear, nose and the tongue. Now I am taking the example of skin. Mm -hmm. Now what is this skin made of? This skin is made of different kinds of tissues. If you take at the look at take a look at the skin, it is broadly divided into two parts. This is the epidermis, and this is the dermis. Okay. Now, how are we looking at the skin? This skin is a longitudinal section. Now, this is your paper. Now, this is the skin which has been peeled off. Now, if we take a section, a longitudinal section or a cut in this direction, a very, very thin strip of this, you will see under the microscope, this is the top layer and this is the bottom layer. That This is the layer that we see and this is the layer that we don't see. Now, under the microscope, it will look like this. Okay. Now, now this is the top layer and this is the bottom layer. Okay. Now this epidermis is made of epithelial tissue. There are about four or five layers like this, layers of cells. So now we see what a tissue is. It is made of cells. You can see it in the picture that we are going to show you side by side. Okay. Now this dermis is the place where we see muscular tissue also. How do we see the muscular tissue here? The hair which is there in the skin is moved with the help of this muscular tissue. The muscles at the base of the follicle which you will see in the picture, they are the ones which move your hair this way or that. 
okay so this is one tissue which is made of cells again long long cells they are then there is there are some nerve endings here there are some receptors here sense receptors which sense the heat they sense the temperature outside here they also see the pressure falling on the skin okay somebody hits you you feel it you feel the pain there's a change in temperature outside you feel that there are different receptors for that they all belong to the nervous system and they are all nerve tissues okay so the example why do you think i have taken skin as the example of this and there is of course blood capillaries blood vessels and fibers which hold all this in place connective tissue so these are the various kinds of tissues or uh, tissues present in the skin so now you must have understood why i have taken skin as the example because it has a lot of these tissues and in turn we can see a lot of different kinds of cells over here now we have come to the basic that is the cell one more thing now that we've come to the cells what are these cells made of the cells are made of the building blocks which we call do you know what they called as the proteins then they also contain carbohydrates and they also have fats now remember i told you about the skin in the epidermis at the base there are a lot of fat cells now this layer is broader in case of obese people and in case of lean people this is a very thin layer so these are the fats proteins and carbohydrates which make up each cell besides this there are vitamins and minerals which also are a part of these cells which are useful for their own purposes which we will learn about later on okay now where do we get all these things from as soon as we say the words carbohydrates proteins fats minerals and vitamins the word that comes to mouth is food now where do we get this food from we get it either from plants or animals or both now we consider if you remember we had talked something about the food chains in nature now plants are the ones which prepare the food for the first time in nature then the animals are eat the plants then we can either eat the animals and plants or plants now how do these plants manufacture food they do it with the help of sunlight the green pigment in the green plant leaves that is the chlorophyll and of course water and salts which are dissolved in it come from the soil now all this we are going to learn in a separate section of the lessons here with this process do you know the name of this process it is called as the photosynthesis all these what are these made of cells and what are these cells made of proteins fats minerals carbohydrates and vitamins so what is the basis of everything that is going on in nature the entire food chain what is the basis of all that the whole world depends on this carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals now in this the lessons which we are going to learn sorry lesson number 14 and 15 deal with the constituents of food and lesson number 13 tells you about the nutrition the types of nutrition autotrophic and the heterotrophic 
that we will learn later on. So this happens to be how food is an important aspect of the whole living world that is in front of us.